Welcome to Tech in Two Minutes. Today we're going to discuss how to calibrate the InLab MCXL. This is recommended yearly or as needed. So the first thing you would need to have is to have your InLab CAM software open. Make sure that you have your InLab milling unit turned on. And then down the menu bar, you're going to open up and then go to Machine Instruments and Tray Management. Once that open, if you have multiple milling units, they'll be displayed on the screen. Pick the milling unit that you're getting ready to calibrate. I want to make sure I have the green check. That means I'm communicating with my milling unit. I go to calibration. This is where you're going to pick what birds you're going to be calibrating because you got two motor sets. So you always want to make sure you highlight both motor sets. And now I'll calibrate both bird sets. Then you hit the start menu, the button. The milling unit is going to move into position. Don't ever worry about what motor set number one or two is. Whatever you got highlighted will go into position. So at this point, we're going to put the calibration pins and set this machine up for calibration. So you're going to open up the chamber door. You have your uh, torque removal tool. Right now we have motor set number one in position that we will be taking the burrs out to put the calibration pins in. What's important at this point is when you tighten up these calibration pins, you want to make sure that this is torqued at least once you should hear it click. Then I'll take the other torque wrench and I'm going to remove the sleeve to put the calibration phantom in. So you unloosen this screw, pull the sleeve out. And what's important on this is that there's a notch on this calibration phantom. There's a fixer pin at nine o'clock. When you put this in, it should go into that pin and it shouldn't move. And then you take the torque wrench, tighten it up, and it should click. You can either start calibration here on the front of the milling unit or at the computer. At this stage, calibration is finished for motor set number one. Now you have to tell it what burrs you're going to be milling with, and you got to place the burrs in. So I'm going to remove the calibration pins, and then I'm going to put in the 20 millimeter burrs. On the left is always going to be the step burr, and on the right is always going to be the pointed burr. Now that we have finished the calibration on motor set number one, we need to tell the machine what burrs we're putting in here. So I'm going to highlight the 20 millimeter burr, and it gives me the ones that are compatible with it. And I'm gonna do the other side, which would be the cylinder pointed bird of 20. Everything lights up like that. I would hit start. And now I'm ready to do motor set number two and go through the calibration process just like I did on motor set number one. It just repeats. Calibration is that simple. Thanks for watching.